Got Lauren from Modern Valley, uh, just in the Atherin Genesis 2.0 SD90 Mac H's. Here we have Canadian Pacific. Uh, Canadian Pacific owned four road numbers 9300, 9301, 9302, 9303. These are SD90 Mac H's, which were 6,000 rated horsepower, built in London and completed in Elf, Calgary. They did spend time throughout the entire CP system uh, from 98 up until 2010 when they became sold off for, for surplus. In addition, Union Pacific placed the largest order of the SD90 Mac H's in the 8500 series. Um, EMD also offered a demonstrator, their EMD90, which today still exists at LaGrange, which is McCook, Illinois. The two units on the end, FMG Australia 903 and 904, they are formerly XUP units that went off to uh, iron ore range in Australia to be mining. Now we'll do a product review of the sound, the features, and that. Hey, this is Andrew from OVR. I got one of the new Athern Genesis SD90 Mac H's here on the test track. Uh, as you can see, this is the CP version, so we'll go over some CP specific details. So, first we got the cab side rain gutters instead of the sunshades. There are no blue flag holders on the engineer's side of cab. We have the CP raised walkway grates for uh, snow service. We have CP specific roof antennas. We have the air dryer with relocated fuel tank bracket on the engineer side. Uh, rear corner of the fuel tank for CP prototype. It's all back in here. There's all the fuel tank details. Uh, CP specific MU receptacle locations. Nose door with window. Um, and as delivered strut placement on truck side frames. So this is the uh, CP unit number 9300 and all four row numbers are available 9300, 9301, 9302 and 9303. Alright so here's the Union Pacific SD90 Mac H from Atherin Genesis. So the UP features on this model are antenna dome on cab roof per prototype. These ones have the blue flag holders on engineer's cab side and nose. Um, cab side long style sunshades as you can see here instead of the rain gutters on the CP unit and then as delivered drop placement on truck side frames and again you can see it's also got the same raised walkway things like that. So there's the MU hoses and everything on this unit, the ditch lights all LED lighting on these units backside shot of this all right here we have the FMG paint scheme also known as the Forestry Railway metal group um, so this unit is a former UP locomotive that was that's been repainted and retaining the 265 horsepower prime mover so these units are UP units repainted and sent over Australia for the FMG group um, so in the Australia you got to have different railings so it's got the safety guard in the middle of the handrails as per Australian practice. You can see the extra set, you know, extra bar going down the center. Um, it has the pilot electrical junction boxes per prototype. We have dual train line air hoses per FMG practice. And then modified truck placement on the trucks on the side frames as per delivered. Here's the paint scheme. That nice FMG logo. It's pretty unique. Here's the rear of the unit. Alright, so now we have the EMD demonstrator here on the track. So it's got a couple different features as well. So, first off, this unit has three radiator fans, where the CP, the Union Pacific, and the FMG all have two fans. If you also notice, it's got pilot mounted ditch lights underneath the pilot instead of on top like the CP, Union Pacific and the FMG. Um, this one also has a nose door with window, as you can see there. Um, demonstrator specific fuel tank per prototype, so this one has a little bit of a different fuel tank compared to the other units. Um, and of course the same strut placement on the shocks as the prototype. So.
couple minor differences, but they're all unit and row name specific between all of them. Let me get a shot of the front here of all of them. So, beautiful units. Next up, we'll show you a quick sound demo. All right, so we got the CP unit here on the track, and I'll show you the startup sequence. So I'll just turn on the NCE. Here's the headlight, the dish lights, you can hear the bell going, blast the horn again. Then that smooth drive. Here's the rear headlight. Now, I don't know if you can see that, but there is a truck pilot light down below on the front of the unit. Switch directions here. There's a good shot of the front end with all the detail. So anyway, that's the uh, the new units from Athern, the new SD90 Mac H. Again, available in four. Uh, row names, you got the CP, Union Pacific, FMG Mining, and the EMD Demonstrator. So, available at Otter Valley, uh, the DC units are $279.99, and the DCC Sound are $379.99. Again, available at Otter Valley. Thanks for watching.